Hello everyone and welcome to Counselor Feature Friday. I'm your host, Brian Urban. In these features, we hope to give you some simple tips, tidbits, and tricks to make your days easier and your patients happier. In this feature, we're going to talk about resolving patient duplicate profiles. So this will be the instance where uh, you've identified uh, two or more profiles in Counselor for a specific patient, right? And sometimes it can be difficult to detect that, uh, but we, I'm going to show you some tools where you can find and resolve uh, any of those issues. Okay, so we're going to start here with the patient duplicates dashboard widget, a very helpful dashboard widget to help you monitor for any duplicates uh, and resolve them quickly. All right, so uh, the primary filter here is going to be this left drop down menu. Uh, so you can look through different combinations of, um, of different you know, uh, criteria to see if there are duplicate profiles. The most kind of quite literal one is first name, last name, date of birth, right? Show us ones that are really exact matches for all three of those. But you may also find success uh, with doing things like first and last name or uh, very commonly last name and date of birth, right? This is one where you can start to suss out um, where maybe there's a difference in say the patient's name. Let's find one here. So if we have Elizabeth Lilly and Liz Lilly with the exact same date of birth, probably the same patient, maybe not, but probably. Um, so this gives you the opportunity to, to review that and uh, determine, right? And if there's a duplicate, then resolve it. So let's start by looking at uh, this list here. And let's just take Kate's profile. So we'll say, okay, very strong likelihood this is the exact same patient. Maybe we already know that it's the same patient. Uh, what you want to do is check both profiles. So we'll start with the first in the list. By clicking that, of course, it opens the profile, and then you give it a quick review. We can see there's some details here. There's an audio. Uh, there's no contact information for this patient. Um, that's common. Uh, oftentimes with duplicate profiles where one may have more information than the other. Uh, ultimately, what we're looking for here on the contact tab is, uh, is this information current? right? Is, is there anything there? And if it is, is this the best contact information? Because we're going to try to decide between the two or possibly more profiles, which one has the best, most current contact information. That's a very important thing to keep in mind. But we can see here there's a policy, there's appointments, invoice, etc. right? All of this is going to copy over the policies, appointments, questionnaires, invoices, devices, NOAA data, VTracker docs, portal information, right? That'll all merge into the other profile or if you're merging their profile into this one, point being is this information is preserved. Counselor needs to know though, which uh, profile has the best contact information. So that's really where your focus is. So we're saying here, yeah, not really much going on here. Okay, let's look back at the dashboard. Let's look at the second profile. Okay, in this profile, we can see that there is contact information, right? So this would be our, this would be the profile that we wanna pull the information into. Okay, so once you've identified that, then you would click on actions in the top menu or in the uh, top right here, and then you would select merge patients. Okay, so this is a key point. You always want to start uh, when you start this merge process, start in the profile where you wish to keep the contact information. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click merge, and then we'll do a search. You can see it automatically filled in the patient's name, and it found the matching profile. Great, so now we'll click on that, and we're going to click merge. That'll take, as I mentioned, the appointments, the invoices, the policies, the documents, the NOAA data, um, uh, patient notes, and pull it all together. Now, this can be across clinics. If you happen to notice the first profile we're looking at was in one clinic and this was in the other, that can happen too. You might have profiles in separate clinics. Just merge that, no problem. Now, if we look down at the patient notes there, we're going to see is there's a note here that the profile was merged. So if you ever need to reference that later on, you can uh, to show um, that, that, you know, that when the profile was merged and which profile it was, okay? So now if we look back at the dashboard, what we're gonna see is that Kate, of course, is no longer on the list because it's no longer detected as a duplicate profile. Uh, let's take that same process here and let's look at last name and date of birth. And let's go to the one we identified before. Um, let's look at, oh, I went past it, there we go, Elizabeth Lilly and Liz Lilly. So we're gonna have a quick look here at Elizabeth Lilly and we're gonna take a look at the contact. Okay, nothing there. Um, and not much information here overall for this patient, right? A little bit. Um, if we look now at the second one, Liz Lilly, let's see what we have here. So we do have contact information. So this, once again, this would be the profile we'd want to keep, right? Or the merge information into. So we're gonna go ahead, once again, back to merge. Now the difference here is that the name is not exactly the same. So if I do a quick search here, in this case, it found it because, <laughs> because Liz is part of the name Elizabeth, right? But if this was Jim Johnson, versus uh, uh, John Johnson, 
right? It may not have come up with this. So what you can do is if you want to broaden your search, you could um, remove the first name, for example, and just show me every patient with the last name of Lily. It'll show you more results, but you'll be able to identify the specific one that you're looking for. Now, in this case, not the best example because it did show, um, but we can basically, yes, this is the profile we're looking for. We're going to go ahead and click Merge. Okay, so you can kind of expand the search at that point if you recognize there are differences in the name, but usually more like nickname type thing or, or, or shortened names. So at this point now, we've merged that profile as well. Okay, so if we look back at the dashboard, once again, we'll see that that is no longer, that those two profiles are no longer there. Okay, now, like I said, the patient duplicates uh, widget is the really the best place, the fastest place to find and you know identify and resolve patient duplicate profiles. Um, but there's also a way kind of on the fly where you can you can uh, determine this. Uh, so if you are searching for a patient, let's just kind of have a nice wide open search here and say we're searching on John. Um, and you're looking for a patient, you say, gosh, you know, I don't, I'm not seeing the patient I'm looking for. You know, uh, what we recommend doing right away is clicking on actions and then include inactive and deceased. Because what Calendar does is automatically runs a search on active and prospect patients, so patients with that status. You can then say, all right, beyond that, I want to make sure that we're including inactive and deceased because what can happen is sometimes, particularly when you convert it from a different um, office management system, you may have some archived profiles that are hanging out there uh, and are essentially duplicates, but you don't see them. And maybe maybe there's some NOAA data as part of that uh, duplicate profile and you want to pull it all together. So if you do go ahead and select actions and inactive and deceased, um, in this case, it added one more profile here. So there was 212, now there's 213. And so in a typical case where you're looking for a specific patient, you know, maybe first and last name, you're going to see, okay, there was one, now there's two, right? So uh, it's a very quick way of identifying. The other quick thing I want to point out is there is an option here at the top of these search findings, all clinics, or you can look by a specific clinic. You do want to make sure you're searching by all clinics, uh, just because in case you happen to search in one location, and they had a profile or a duplicate profile in a second, you may not see that. So typically, you're going to search by all clinics. Okay, so once again, you, you, the, the process for resolving duplicate patient profile starts with the dashboard, with the patient duplicates widget, uh, goes through the merge process where you keep, uh, where you start the merge process in the profile where you have the best contact information. And then on the fly, if you ever need to, of course, you can, you know, expand your search to find any duplicate profiles using the include inactive deceased uh, option. So, of course, if you have any questions about this, give us a call, email us, live chat us. We are always happy to help. Uh, thank you very much for joining us for today's Counselor Feature Friday. And as always, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.